Okay, today we're going to talk about the 2017 KTM 85SX bike build. Um, as a parent, my son races competitive motocross, and uh, so every year we build new bikes. This year, where he's uh, in uh, mini senior, uh, we built a bike to go out and compete against the, uh, all the other kids in the nation and, and try and go to Loretta's again. So this bike build, I'm going to talk about the things that I've done to this bike to set it up to hopefully give him the best chance of success possible. So the first thing we did, we got the bike straight from KTM and I wanted to make sure everything was in spec. So we got everything that we checked the timing, the decking, we uh, looked at the power valve, made sure it was all in, in spec. Then we added the KTM hard parts high compression head. Now what that does, the stock bike runs about 165 PSI. We wanted to punch it up to about 180 PSI. That gives the bike a little more bark, a little more bite out there on the track. Then we added the FMF factory fatty pipe. Donnie from FMF has always helped out Cyrus and it's, it's been a great help. We, uh, we add this pipe, it gives him better over rev uh, with the shorty exhaust. It allows him to go out there and, and really make this little bike scream. Now to get the power to the ground, we added the Henson clutch basket and clutch components. They allow him to have smoother clutch actuation and it wears much better. The stock basket gets a little notchy after a few hours. So the Henson, once again, gives him better success on the track, less likely to fail, the, you know, less likely to cause the clutch to fail out on the track. We also added the high capacity water pump from the Hilo. This keeps the little engine cool while he's out there because they're really making these things. They're pushing them to the limit and we need as much coolant flow as possible through this engine. Next, let's talk about the chassis. One of the first things we did, uh, our friends at Fox, uh, Fox Shocks sent us some inserts for the forks. What this does, it's, it's like a dual chamber insert. It makes it a more progressive feel so that when he's hitting these big jumps, you know, it doesn't bottom out. It doesn't do any weird def deflecting or anything. Uh, it gives us a lot more adjustability to the suspension. Now to hold this forks in, we've got the neck and triple clamps. Uh, the stock clamps, are, are really good, but the speeds these guys are going and with the rigidity we'd like to get out of the front end, we've used these triple clamps to give him better feel, better performance with his fork. Then our friends at Tusk, they've helped us out with these awesome impact wheels. We just started out this year at Tusk getting the wheels in for the mini bikes. These things are tough as nails. We've got a couple kids that have been racing on them for the last year and they hold up great. They've got forged tubs, they're oversized spokes. These things are awesome. I mean, so anytime he's out there throwing down an 80 foot jump, I don't have to worry about the wheel coming apart. We also have some other parts like protective pieces. We've got the KTM hard parts, chain uh, case guard, and a few things like that that just, if bad things happen, we don't destroy an engine when we're out there on the track. Next, we have some items that are just for his fitment, things that he likes, like the bars. We have ODI. These bars, he likes the fit and the feel of them. They flex a little bit when he lands, but it's a controlled flex. It only goes so far. Plus, it's got, you know, I really like the chest protection of the crossbar. So if, if he does come up short and he does go into the bars, I actually like the crossbar feature in the bar quite a bit. Uh, we have the Emig grips. These things are awesome. They never slip, never fall off. Once you tighten them on, you know, I mean, there's, there's no glue, there's no wires. Uh, they lock on and once they're locked on, they're in place. So we don't have to worry about in a mud race or something, all of a sudden his grip's getting all wonky and he has to fight that. Reflex, we have the reflex levers. The nice thing about these levers, if he does go down, they snap right back into place. They don't, they don't break off so that if he goes down in a corner, he can just pick up his bike and he's going again. One more item that we added is this hole shot device. Now what that does is it locks the front end down so that a couple things, it keeps the front end low so he doesn't wheelie up on starts. It also allows him, you know, the shorter riders to be able to touch the ground. And uh, so when he's locked onto that bike in the start position, when he takes off, it's gonna come up a little bit but it won't wheelie over backwards. So. That's, you know, that's one of the most important devices to have on every kid. I don't know if there's any kid at the national level that doesn't run a whole shot device. Now as for some aesthetics, we have our attack graphics. 
Uh, these guys really set us up. It allows us to give all the love to our sponsors, the people that help, you know, help us out and uh, that help make it possible to go out there and race. We do have a seat cover from Attack as well. This thing's, you know, it's built strong. It, it grips. It allows him to hold himself in the pocket. But overall, I mean, this little bike, it's, it's fun to go in and customize it just to fit your individual rider and have the performance the way you want. But most important is just go out, you know, I mean, I enjoy the time as a father to go out with my family and my son and go racing and, and it's just a great experience. Hey guys, I'm Cyrus. I'm out here at Bunker Hill and I love the bike. I love the build. I love the engine. I love the suspension. I love the wheels and I'm really excited to ride this thing up at Bunker Hill.